Hello everyone, just Wombo. So yeah, today we're gonna talk about grinding dailies. So what does it mean actually for the new players who might haven't heard of grinding before? So basically grinding is the thing that you do daily or day-to-day -day basis, like every day basically for I don't know months year maybe something like that to increase your character progression or make them stronger okay so all the people in this game so nobody has friendship chop chop do that all of it even the even the whales they are doing the dailies so I will show you the best way to do that so the first one as you can see here the fortune so this week is relic fortune so basically this is the most i like this the most the relic for the relic fortune here because the the way is to complete all of this is so easy and fast let me show you in a second so this is you can always remember if you have a relic you just need have to seven hunt and then you need to refine the relic five times so it's pretty easy and simple so if you have a if you have a lifetime pass or monthly pass like me you can do this even easier let me show you let's go to the relic first here so when at relic you go to hunt okay as you can see here this is a first free attempt <coughs> uh, second first free attempt is the videos ads so you watch ads to get two attempts and then you go hunt for two two time hunts for free every day so it's easy just like this if uh, if you are free to play player you will have to watch ads four times because this thing is have a four ads on it and then you hunt for for free and then we've done the eight hunts because in total one one type of uh, ruins is four so plus that equals eight so the seven hunts is already completed and then we just have to uh, refine the relics five times so I'm just looking for the first one here let's go here yeah this is HP good one two three four five so we're done refining there five times oh, so we go to the see it's already completed so this one is chop 500 200 it will be good done so fast let me show you in a second so i don't have tools so it's good to auto mode so Meanwhile, we waiting for the chop mission to finish. We can do another thing. Let me show you. Example: We go to the beast. We go to the free Nadan every day, two times. Don't forget. And we go to the summon. Summon the cheapest uh, beast. For example, this Kylark here only costs three thirty. Uh, be seals and then always use your free refresh if you are uh, have if you have the uh, no ads features but if you have ads uh, I don't recommend you to free refresh every day because it's too much work and then you go to the real beast and then you upgrade it three times one two three and then you release it because you don't need to use that low level of a beast and this completes fate as you can see upgrade beast and summon beast you can claim that so you can see here it gets challenge stage duel three times mount bloodline etc stay with me you go to the demon king first you go to free blitz i don't know about you guys but um really want the teachers so I'm usually just maxing this out 
to get more peach and then I go to the duel just duel some randoms three people you don't need to win in in, in completing this just have to do it even if you lose the challenge is still completed so it's already three times you go to adventure you go to the stage so the stage is um definitely losing because my in long damage is not good enough to kill this crab all right so even if you lose you still have the completion so you can see this challenge stage is, co is completed so you can claim okay next one is mount bloodline and beast invasion and blessed land also you have a ch summon genie okay go to the genie first oh i have an upgrade okay good okay go to genie and this is uh you have daily you have two attempts for free so go ahead and use that and that is actually count as completing the summon genie you go to the mount and bloodline okay let's go to the mount you upgrade and you go to the bloodline okay please note that whenever you do blood bloodline it's best to do the demon pagoda uh, blitz first because uh, because uh, you will get a lot of Lingji mushroom so you can use that to get even higher chance to getting higher grades of bloodline so yeah I'm using auto so it will be dumping all of those flowers and then I get to complete the mission so next is peace invasion and blessed land so usually i leave these two in the at last so i'm doing and finish this two in in the last seconds or the last minute because the i i should done everything else before i'm completing those so for example here the array okay go to claim all of that and awaken don't forget to join other people already so I'm looking for the amount of time the most amount of time and the most amount of anima per minute so yeah I'm doing that and I'm using alpha red yeah, for collecting the peaches oh yeah for example uh, if you're wondering what is my alpha red settings are it's the peach level 2 that's it because I'm on the hunt for peaches that's why I'm going to peach level 2 if I'm going to uh, to increase my tree level I'm going peach level 3 or oh, sorry peach level 4 and holy water level 2 so at these settings I'm I'm gaining more towards holy water than peaches but at this stage i'm using peaches too all right so okay so this is the rewards don't forget to claim your rewards guys it's very worth it and then you go to sect here always drain your stamina because you don't want it to be wasted and oh someone requested me but because I don't have any students yet so this is actually no the sect tournament so basically you have to graduate and bond with other people to gain growth you can see here your ranks is based on growth so I'm on rank 20 so this is the cool events where you can see the <laughs> even the transformation rank gain at 17 that's crazy it, i i don't remember even the transformation and you have a body integration at 15 so it's good to see oh we got dutch okay i got dutch with uh less percentage but awesome stats so i'm gonna replace that because the stats is awesome okay 
good stuff. Yeah. Ooh, we have even Grand Ascension too. In fifth place. Holy, it's even beaten Pukapi. Wow. So yeah. This is only my teammates. Huh? So we already have this thing. Okay. Uh, you don't claim your stamina right away. You should drain your stamina best before you do that, because uh, it takes time. See? Okay. Okay, we are searching for this guy. So you, you just kill this guy to move to another plane. Sorry guys, that's outside this uh, event happening. <laughs> okay. So yeah, let me see if I can get that guy. Alright, this one. So after two, you can move to other plane, bone altar. And here you can farm the golden blossom. Soul Bloom shots, you can farm them to increase your beast transformation. I highly recommend if you have a CP for less than 10 billion at this point, you, you should just stick in here because you can farm it very cheap, around 2 stamina. In comparison, if you go to higher places, you have to trade 3 stamina per per run, so it's not very viable if you want to have a lot of cell bloom shots. See, in my case, I, I stay here uh, because I want to farm the cell bloom shard. So I'm gonna guess click hide until next season and click cancel. So that's why I'm staying here. See, I get fairly good soul room to per run. Fairly good. I actually have 59 soul rooms, and in this video, may I might have show you to get the higher transformation of my Yin Long. I'm on tier three, I think. So I'm just getting tier three for 60 soul rooms that's a lot so keep farming those shards please you will get a lot of soul rooms so if you have uh, your depleted stamina then you can go to the dead zone and then you get click go why is that because you gain two shots but if you get kicked you just lose one so basically you gain one shard free for just going in here that's why i'm um, going there when i have not not uh, have any stamina yet because i get free shards for doing nothing basically oh so i have a combo here let's place it okay good okay daily you must have your uh, ability acquire so it's three times per day you have to do this if not you're missing out on some free stuff and then you go to their f fortune here it's already completed and then you can draw it ten times much easier okay okay I get 200 peaches and six bottles not bad and 300 to get another peaches there and one more Okay, so I'm not, not in luck, I guess. Okay, so always, right, every two, every two hours, go back to this game and click this thing. It will increase your three levels by a lot if you're doing this consistently. I'm telling you, this thing is very good. And then it goes speed up with battles. Okay, let's see the back here. Ok, 
Okay, I'm just using this random stuff in my bags to clean it up. I like to clean my bags from any rewards. For example, this one. Oh, see, I have a fuse here. Then I get my 62 or 61 blooms. So let me show you what it does. So you can click your piece of choice and you go to soul cultivation. As you can see here, I'm at tier 2 at the real. So I just click cultivate and I have final damage up. So it's very good stats very worth it to chase to chase on so yeah uh, yep. so I think to do it this again okay completed all of the fortune completed this uh, peace in fashion ah, okay. so first like what I'm like to do before peace in fashion is doing it when I'm out of the chop after the chopping okay, gear, guild claiming guilt always so wow 500 so this is actually tips for the new newer player uh, please wait if you have a good good guild who have a lot of people active in the haggle session strategy fault please wait the price to dip below zero or minus that this example is minus 500 what is done is you're not really paying anything with the price but instead you're getting 500 jade from buying the thing I know it's counterintuitive but it's minus so this girl gonna pay you jade for buying her items crazy right so always uh, wait until all the people is active is haggling because this 500 is have a potential to go up even more so yeah I'm, I'm just waiting for at least 45 people haggle then you can go to the guild shop if you go to rush trees you should buy holy waters but I'm rushing the level so I'm just buy peaches always buy your daily peaches guys and let, let me show you one one more place to buy peaches is at the skyward accent let me, let me blitz this one okay see you can buy 50 peaches for 250 points so it's worth it yeah another fate mission complete just uh, is uh, still one piece in fashion left also you do this daily too the any events you encounter that day should do it completely uh, to gain more advantage with the rewards so it's five times dual piece in fashion and blessed land so I'm gonna do it dual first because that's the easiest always claim this stuff because this stuff is very very good Let's see the world two times more just pick random enemies might seem that I'm bullying uh, the weaker people but it is what it is right I'm not bullying it is if I have a weaker opponent and then get more points yeah, I should do that because other people doing it me too as you can see here Omni <laughs> Sin really beat my ass <laughs> oh my god look at this a lot of a lot of loose point but that's normal don't make that into a personal attack or something that's just the way the game works okay always uh, always study your laws so I study the laws to increase my slots so just dump it in here yeah every week you should do the MM or my red mirage so example here 
Ooh. I'm helping other people. So I've done that with Mirage this week. It's a weekly thing. So one week you just one Mirage and that's enough. And also daily you should attack these guys. Uh, for the I'm at Celestial Immortal Light. So I'm just uh, strong enough to go to uh, 3 stars for now can't go any higher because I think my Yinlong need more damage to one shot this crazy looking guy over here so yep yeah get your rewards and go back and then always trials of loss do that daily and then yeah we're clear go to the your build for beast invasion in my case it's physical form so i'm in this build in this clone i using crit and combo to bring down uh foes and dealing much more damage than other two clowns so yeah that's me auto first to gain more chop points because as you can see my xp is already at 1.2 million out of 32,000 I know it's overkill but my style of playing is I tend to hoard the exp until it's peak uh, so when I'm triple eight I'm at max level at that tribulation for example in Celestial Immortal 1, I'm at max at 649 and in with this with this configuration here when I got like 1.8 million EXP when I'm tribulate I'm at max level on Celestial Immortal 2 so I don't so I don't like to wasting time like leveling up like you got your you got a uh, good good equipment at 612 and you upgrade their equipment something like that's just waste of time in my opinion so I'm just hold XP and I'm tribulate and I'm just at max level on that tribulation of course that's a have a downside on that because you basically stalled for maybe three weeks no progression no big progression or still progression but it's not not like jumping progression you know so yeah that's the main uh downsides oh i get five percent crit more so yeah let's replace that okay let's do our piece in fish first I'm just changing my genie lineup so at this lineup i'm using ghost general treasure keeper and tao wu the reason is i'm not using the old one the old one as you can see as in my old videos i'm using these configurations right see using this the way i'm using the the reason i'm using this thing is because my crit is too low so I'm not guaranteeing hits critical hits every time but to but in this day my crit is already 359 so it's almost guarantee hits every time so I don't need this peacock king anymore because it increases crit to 50% but instead I'm using these empty slots to uh, help my other stats for example I'm helping CATK and combo stats 28% very good so yeah this three and then we go to abilities always fuse all to check whether or not you have any uh, singles laying around so in this fight I'm using giant's might equip the seagulls and then and power steel is not very good at this invasion so just go to demon seed and always fuse all to check 
Okay, there's nothing to fuse for now. Then I'm using Affinity. Always fuse all. Okay, the last ability I'm using the Shadow Fiend. Fuse all. Okay, good. So this is the configuration of my abilities. You can screenshot if you want. So yeah, as you can see here uh, in my gallery, I don't I don't activate this one because stun is very bad for beast invasion. It just make your beast stunned and your beast can hit you back, which is not uh, gonna trigger your counter attack and not triggering your combo in that counter attack. So it will kill your damage very very potent so not recommend at all if you want to have high damage in beast infection just leave that open like that don't claim it so yeah see okay let's do beast infection for now beast infection let's see the, the ranks here what only is already at 100 trillion Damn, this guy is not playing around the 100 mil, so it's like 2 trillion, 20 trillion in one run. Damn, okay. Let's see how much I can deal damage to this beast. See, the thing I showed you, the stun, it's not very good. Have a lot of stun, your damage will suffer. Okay, round 11. Okay, 100 billion per hit. Good, good. And it's not very high. Maybe at 6 trillion here. Yeah, 6 trillion. Let's just fast forward. Oh, we got 8. Got 5. Very bad. Get 7. Get 7, basically. Yeah, I guess 35 trillion in total. Not very good done many many good runs but that is not good one right? so yeah we completed the fate mission and then we completed the fortune mission also and then we can do this one <coughs> okay let me show you one trick all right let me show you one trick to get this collect 10 times in your blessed land kind of thing so as you can see it I only finished 3 out of 10. So I just need 7 anymore. 7 more, right? So if you can do that, just go to the blast lands. Right? Make sure you have an idle mouse. And then you click one of them, you collect it, then you recall it. One, collect it, recall it, two, collect it, call it, three. Okay, I'm just going to four. Six, seven. So I'm just doing that seven times. Let's see if, if this is working. It does. See, this makes it makes the your mission progression a lot faster. So you skip any mission, just spamming this start button. Guess we don't want to wait. <laughs> okay. Just claim this okay so I'm not not in luck for now it's bad luck I guess so I have 50 purple shots I think I'm going to buy you that Just to prepare for the next Nadan Samsara so just I'm gonna hold the Nadan oops See bless land sect. Okay, very good. Let's see bags. Okay. So feel free if you have any question about you can you, you see on this video or you have any suggestions, you can just leave it on the comment section below. And also if you want to see more of me or more of tutorial like this you should just subscribe and 
like this video to help me and my channel to grow see oh okay you just jump here oh I got shield 40% mm. ow this is not very good because many people yes use shield but not not very strong player you should shield this down is way more superior than this red ones so I'm just keep it let's see that's scary the red one hard to get but that is very bad stats to have shield down okay okay just oh my duo is full restock okay okay that's it guys um, I think we're done with the daily so that's that's what you do in the daily so what is it like 30 minutes yeah sorry 30 minutes doing dailies you just just like my day to day and waste uh, 30 minutes of my time only to do daily so I'm just uh, at the rest of the day just checking the game to see this time here time reduction if it's ready I'm just click it every two hours and then you can s you can you, you just visit to to drain your compatriot stamina here like this to get rewards because it's cap you don't want to lose the, the timing and then you check to see your blessed land rats always auto them if you have alpha if you don't have alpha you can just explore it to gain more peaches or bottles or whatever but i'm really suggesting you go for bottles or peaches other thing not very good even for jades you can you can get jades anywhere but this thing is very good for peaches and bottles okay that's all for uh, this not really a tutorial this is just sharing about my experience so yeah cheers you guys peace